So this is brand new from Pivot, just came out in June, and uh, probably the biggest features, a little bit more travel, uh, completely redesigned geometry. Uh, so this bike's gonna run 135 uh, millimeters rear travel, 150 front, or it can be run as a 160 as well. Uh, the head tube angle can be adjusted. There's actually a little spacer piece, which is a 17 millimeter tall spacer piece that will either add or subtract a half a degree on the front end. That's also utilized for the other uh, new thing the Pivot is doing, which is the ability to switch wheel sizes. It can be run either in 29 or 27 and a half plus. And in the 27 and a half plus, because that wheel size is slightly smaller, they utilize that 17 mil headset piece to both lift the bottom bracket uh, back to where it was designed for, as well as accommodate uh, the head tube angle. So part of the big changes that uh, Pivot went through is the geometry change. Uh, they uh, named this long and low, so the bike is designed with a much longer top tube than their uh, previous designs and a much lower standover and setup so that it can accommodate up to a 150 millimeter dropper. Uh, what that allows you to do is still be comfortable on the climbs while being able to run a short 45 to 60 millimeter stem for the descents. Uh, they updated the linkage design on this particular bike so that it actually has more rearward axle path so that it's an even more efficient design than their short travel cross country bikes. I like to say that it's the best climbing bike that they make. It climbs like a cross country race bike but descends like a downhill bike. Uh, one of the other things that they've done on this is they've want, moved one step beyond from Boost to uh, the new moniker Super Boost Plus. It's a 157 millimeter rear end. That is actually not a new standard or variation, uh, as we like to call them. Uh, it is what the current downhill standard is, is 157 millimeters. However, there is a running change that you're seeing in hub design, which they're utilizing that extra space to move the spoke bed out so that you can have an even wider spoke stance. That gives the wheel uh, a zero dish on the rear as well as being much, much stronger design uh, so that you have less wheel deflection.